Good morning, everybody. Hey there. He caught me trying to fix my hair. I just washed it. <laughs> yeah, we just had a nice little, little spa day. Yes, we did. But anyway, what this video is about, we are on the North Shore of Minnesota. So we are camping, to, or last night we camped along the shore of Lake Superior. That's right. We are currently in Cascade State Park. Which, Cascade River. Cas Cascade River. So obviously it's called Cascades because there's, there's... There's a cascade and a river. Yeah, it's actually really <laughs> super beautiful. If you stay in a campground, it's not a far hike at all. Maybe a half mile from where we're actually parked. Do you ever find it weird how they name these places? Yeah, it is kind of weird. Yeah. So there's multiple cascades. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the water is kind of like, like this brownish color. And it's, it's pretty cool and it has uh, multiple cascades going into like this really beautiful waterfall and that empties all the way out into Lake Superior itself. But the plan for today, um, even though we are sad to leave this beautiful place, is to drive south because we are only about 45 minutes from the Canadian border. A. A. <laughs> right now. So we are going to drive south along Lake Superior and the North Shore and just see what there is to do. So. Come on, let's go check it out. Welcome to our first stop of the day. We are at Temperance River State Park. This place so far is absolutely incredible. You take what, like a hundred foot walk and all of a sudden, I don't know if you can see very well behind me. We're gonna get some closer shots, but yeah. it's gorgeous. There is this amazing gorge and we're just at the entrance of it because the Superior or Lake Superior is maybe a quarter of a mile downstream here yeah and it is absolutely breathtaking so this place was formed over 12,000 years from glacier ice melt and it's stunning you're gonna love this place okay i'm not sure if this is a great idea or not but it's a great idea we've got curtis and sandy back here but we're gonna try to kind of swim a little bit closer to the waterfall so we can kind of get a good picture i don't know how Woo! it's cold oh my gosh it's cold Okay, so we just swam from over there to inside of here. The water is absolutely freezing. So it looks like we can get some footholds up here and actually see the waterfall. Hey, Jonathan, what do you think? I bet. I, you know what? I think we're going to die here. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't say that. We still need to make it back. Yes, we had a great time coming here. And we, I like to have adventure. We used to have an adventure buddy now. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this. Yes, this is so amazing. We're right here in the waterfall. Okay, so that was a nice little swim. So we think this is a definite must stop when you're like on the North Shore. It's absolutely gorgeous. This gorge is so, so beautiful. There are a couple waterfalls. Gorgeous. Uh, it's gorgeous. Yes, <laughs> um, there are these bridges where you can get like beautiful views of the gorge um, and there's like it's about a two mile loop that you can hike up here so definitely worth it to stop and take an hour hour and a half of your time and yes absolutely or take an extra hour and go for a swim <laughs> actually it's probably recommended that you don't swim the water is super low right now so I don't want you guys to think that you know just just use your best judgment. Yeah. They, they say they don't recommend swimming, but like I said, the water's super low, so. But anyway, I'm gonna finish drying off so we can get to our next place. Woo! Yeah, so. Chilly out here. So our next stop is uh, kind of a pretty popular tourist destination called Black Beach. So uh, this beach was actually formed from taconite tailings. Um, I guess there's a pretty big taconite in industry in this area. So which taconite is this like dark charcoalish gray um, that turns a black color when it's wet? So hence the name of Black Beach. But it's absolutely beautiful out here. So I think this place is absolutely beautiful and it's a must stop if you're in the area. Um, a lot of fog and a lot of wind that just has rolled in so uh, we're gonna keep moving so this is the stop that I've probably been most excited for along the drive and we are at Split Rock Lighthouse State Park yeah so there's a there's a lighthouse here uh, it's called Split Rock because of the different types of stones that they used. And this is the only lighthouse that looks like this on oh, this the entire lake. This color. 
yeah, this, this color. color. So you can kind yeah, of if you, so you can see up there. Yeah. So if you see this color, it's split rock. <laughs> but um, not only is the lighthouse beautiful, but it's kind of foggy out today, so you can't see very far. But the the shoreline here is kind of very rugged and gorgeous as well. It's like. Yeah, it says the, the prism up there is actually all original. It comes from France and it has how many thousands of hundreds? It's got a lot of prisms like on it. Gazillions a gazillion of, of, of them. them. Yeah, that's yeah. that's an yeah, actual that's number. That's a technical term and that's that's a true fact right there for you about this lighthouse. But something of note is also when you come up here, absolutely take a look at the view. It's amazing. Oh, you can you can oh, hear the, the shipping there. So apparently like 10 miles out, there's a shipping lane. So we can't see a thing. But if it was clear, we'd probably be able to see it today. But um, yeah, they, so the shipping lanes are like 10 miles out. And you can see this lighthouse they saved from 22 miles out. So that's pretty cool. Another note, um, I, I can't remember the exact year that they built this lighthouse, but I think it was in like in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason that they built it is because um, in that year they had like 29 or 30 shipwrecks out here around this area at the time. So they built this lighthouse to kind of... Makes sense to me. Yeah, that's a lot of shipwrecks, which would be really cool to see if we could go underwater, which no. I don't do. No. So from the lighthouse, there is a little hike that will take you all the way down to the beach of Lake Superior, where you can get these nice little shots of this guy right here. You see it? Look. It's not, it's not there anymore. Look, see, look. Oh, see, I'm messing it up. Yeah, you are. Welcome to Ionis Beach. So this beach is also <laughs> known as the Pink Beach and we actually found this on one of our favorite uh, travel sites, uh, Atlas Obscura. So Atlas Obscura has all these obscure places or these, you know, kind of um, just very unique places that you can kind of explore in your travels. Um, so check it out and Ionis Beach is actually on there so we definitely had to check it out. The cool thing about this is it's not like a sand beach. Uh, the beach is totally made up of these beautiful pink rocks. What are those called? Uh, they're, they're made from um, rhyolite. So the, the cliffs here that surround this area have rhyolite in them. And when the nor'easters come through this area, they basically have knocked this uh, rhyolite off of the cliffs. And because of the way it's kind of coved out here, these um, rocks have collected on this beach. Another interesting thing about this beach is that the rocks are said to sing, so what happens is the water pushes the rocks and the sound of them settling kind of makes this cool little noise. Uh, I don't know if it's quite like singing, but let's try and listen. Well, that was an exciting day of doing really cool stuff in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, we actually had a lot of fun driving down the North Shore. Um, we pretty much drove the majority of it in one day and stopped and seen several things along the way. If you really want to make a trip of it, we suggest probably taking at least three to five days to really kind of be able to stop and see all the amazing things that are along there. Now our campsite tonight is just as cool as last night's. Yep, so we are in the, the Duluth, Minnesota, Superior, Wisconsin area. And we have the most luxurious of all accommodations. Can you find it? Walmart. 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 Yep, Walmart tonight. Anyway, tomorrow we'll be headed back to some prettier places, but yeah, Walmart for tonight. And how about this fog? Do you see it? Yeah, this fog is nuts. It's crazy. It just kind of rolled in today or this afternoon. Um, but yeah, you're not here to learn about the fog. Nope. <laughs> but uh, if you do like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then what in the world is wrong with you? Hit that button right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> it really helps us out and helps us bring you these amazing videos of Walmart and the fog. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to miss that one. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for now. And until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day.